Hello, and welcome to a Calibre How-To Video Guide. In this video, we will take a look at how to set up a simple GUI configuration in the new Calibre Interactive without needing to write any code. This will all be done in the new configuration editor that enables drag and drop GUI configuration capabilities. This initial setup process will need to be performed only once to configure the new Calibre Interactive GUI. Afterwards, the setup can be saved in a configuration file and can be shared and reused by many users. We will begin by launching the configuration editor with the environment variable set. We will launch the configuration editor by invoking caliber-gui-drc-config underscore editor. Once the editor is open, we can observe our workspace. On the left-hand side, we have our list of GUI pages. By default, all the caliber pages are shown and are visible. In the pages toolbar, pages can be added, deleted, hidden or shown, and moved up and down to rearrange pages. On the right hand side, the contents of the selected page are shown as a list of page items. Items can also be added, deleted, edited, copied, and rearranged using the items toolbar. Actions can be undone and redone using the undo and redo button. Once a configuration is complete, the configuration file can be previewed and then can be saved to be shared and used when launching Calibre Interactive. To create our desired configuration, we click the plus icon next to pages to add a custom page called DRC Setup. Multiple custom pages can be added in this way, but for our case, we will only need one custom page. Click, hold, and drag the custom page DRC Setup to move it to the top. All of the pages shown in the pages list can be rearranged by dragging and dropping. Next, we navigate to page rules. From here, we can press Ctrl and select items rules file and run directory and drag the selected items to the custom page titled DRC Setup to move the items to that page. This can be repeated for any items in the GUI. Next, we can select to hide all the pages except for DRC Setup to simplify the GUI, since we've already moved all of the relevant caliber options and inputs to our custom page. In the DRC Setup page, we can also modify the visibility, editability, and initial values of each of the items we just rearranged. For sub-items, results pseudo-cells and results cell name under the DRC DB item, we will uncheck the visible column. This will hide these options in the GUI configuration, since for our simple DRC run, they are not required. Next, we uncheck the editable column for the item result format. This will show the RDB format in the configuration, but will be grayed out and locked down so that users cannot modify the format of the results database. In this case, we would like to keep it as ASCII. Under turbo command, we will change the initial value of run how from single to all threads to ensure that by default Calibre will utilize all available threads when running DRC. Notice, once run how is switched to all threads, Additional options Run Hyper and Turbo All appear. We can modify the initial values and visibility of these as well, depending on what we would like to show in our simplified configuration. It is also important to note that the items can also be rearranged in the page to a desired order by clicking on the item name and dragging it to a new position. Once I'm happy with my configuration, I can hit the Preview button to preview my configuration with the new Calibre Interactive GUI we can see that all of the changes that we've made are reflected in the GUI preview. Finally, we can save the configuration by clicking on the Save Configuration button or going to File, Save Configuration As. In this case, we save it as simpledrc.config. We can now load the configuration file along with our runset file by invoking caliber-gui-drc-config and our configuration file simpledrc.config and finally specifying the runset file. New Calibre Interactive will now be loaded with our created configuration file. Thank you for watching this Calibre how-to video guide. I hope you found this helpful.